Hey guys, this is Torna and today we're here to talk about Cosmic Crucible. Now, if you don't know, this is the last season of Cosmic Crucible with these rules that are currently in place. No more freaking cosmic catastrophe that's been here for ages. We're going to be getting some new rules, which they've covered over on the blog. Now, this blog came out last week and they've got the new rules. And next season looks like it's going to be called the Age of X. I'm calling it basically Age of X season, like, it's like Cosmic Crucible Season 1, Age of X. Um, and there's going to be a lot of focus here on hero mutants. Uh, we're looking at like a massive damage boost to them, some damage reduction, a focus boost, and some resistance. Plus, anytime a hero mutant takes their turn, they're going to be clearing revive ones and immunity from all enemies. Defending characters will also have 20% uh, extra health and 10% damage. So that's the current existing um, global rule. Uh, but they're going to be extending it. At the moment, the global rule is just that 20% extra health, 10% extra damage, but we're focusing purely here on the Age of X for next season, a lot of X-Men stuff. Now, we've got Stage 1 and 2 are not going to have anything except for the global rule, just like at the moment. Stage 3 is going to be all about the spiders. we got any Spider-Verse character is going to gain safeguard for two turns and de two deflex on spawn, uh, which is really good. We're going to use that. We've got latent power here on turn, end of turn. Global heroes are going to gain offense up. Stage 5, we've got biological temperament here. Uh, on turn, any bio characters are going to apply offense down to a random enemy that doesn't currently have offense down. Now, I'm looking forward to this one a lot i've got a decent team there i think and stage six our legendary characters are getting an extra 50 percent damage they're also going to spawn with three turns of defense up place plus safeguard and on turn legendary characters are going to remove all negative effects off themselves and gain speed up so there's lots of stuff going on here i'm very very excited so if this is a little bit confusing for you i've also done this infographic this is up on my discord um just to be able to show you. So this is the rule that applies to everything. And then we've got the individual rules here. Just so that way, if you're a little bit confused, you're able to kind of understand what's going on. If you can't tell, the uh, Unlimited X-Men are going to be insane next season. This is obviously, like, that's the main reason this is around, like, Rogue season. It's going to be the Famine. Um, the Famine's going to... Uh, the Famine Saga is going to start. And then also... Um, obviously another run of Rogue is likely going to be next uh, patch as well, given that they said hey, the Famine Saga is coming next patch so there's lots of stuff going in here now I've changed my defense, I've gone in and changed my defense, and I know how much you guys loved my last video where I went over my defense, so this is my new one um, I, it, you'll see that the names are obviously wrong up here, but it's because I've changed it early, like there's not going to be any more defense in here um I don't need these defenses to be my current existing ones at the moment. So we'll start with the, uh, the basic rules. So at the moment, this is my room one. Now, I don't know entirely how it's going to go, but A-Force with their buffs, my Spider-Woman is actually um, like tier 16. So I'm hoping that she can kind of catch people off guard here. Now, you'll notice that I've got Cable in here. So Cable's in here for two things. One, for that extra 5% speed on spawn. I don't think it's going to show... Uh, it is actually going to show up in here. Uh, extra 5% speed on spawn here uh, for all allies. And that's not tied into anyone in particular. But mostly I just want him here just to kind of hopefully have a turn and remove any revive once from the enemies. I don't entirely know how this team's going to go. This is kind of like a, a trial and error kind of thing here. Um I've got Nico over here who's decently, like, I, I want to, like, be able to take Nico up to gear 16 if mutant gear wasn't required by, like, everyone. Um, so I'm hoping this team goes well, but they're kind of like, uh, I've, I've filled in all the other rooms. What can I chuck in here? A4 seem decent now, so we'll chuck them in there with Cable. Room number two, we've got my Wakanda. Um, at the moment, my Wakanda are decent. I've got to actually rearrange them a little bit here. Um, and I plan on working them up more as well when I can actually, you know, get more <laughs> spare resources. A lot of this is coming down to like spare resources. Um, but at the moment, Wakanda are here. 
Mbaku on the end with um, obviously Killmonger next to him because Killmonger does the counterattacks there. I want to try and save Okoye. Hopefully she doesn't die over there. Um, and they're a decent squad. They get wins every once in a while. So putting them here, I'm hoping that they can get something while also allowing me to use my other rooms well. Um, they're a decent team even without the extra bonus room stuff. So hopefully they go well. So the first of the special rooms, this is the Spider Mania one. Now this is just so that way you remember on spawn, Spider-Verse are going to gain safeguard for two turns plus two deflects. So why have I got them in this area? At the moment, one of the biggest counters to spiders is the, uh, un uh, the, um, the Bionic Avengers. The Bionic Avengers, and they rely on applying those debuffs to them and the undodgeable attacks. So I'm hoping that the deflex give them a little bit more to be able to survive, as well as the deflex make it so it's harder to apply those debuffs, which kind of aren't helpful, like like trying to avoid that uh, ability block from vision, avoid the, like, and you've also got the fact that they're going to be able to have that safeguard there, so vision's not going to be able to remove their uh, other stuff, like, it's basically to try and get them to be tanky. The other thing is that at the moment, Spider-Verse is severely lacking. Like, if if we have a look at the Spider-Verse characters, like, we've obviously got the uh, the, the symbiotes there, um, but beyond that, like, I'm, I'm not going to run Doc Ock and the Sinister Six, unfortunately. I'm sorry, Castrum. I'm not going to run Doc Ock and Sinister Six. They're just not strong enough at the moment. Um, maybe maybe we will be able to have something else in here next patch, given that the rumors were that Green Goblin's going to get a rework and um, Mr. Negative's going to be coming to the game and Mr. Negative could easily have the Spider-Verse tag. Kingpin could easily have the Spider-Verse tag as well. But beyond that, there's just not really many good options. Um, I'm hopefully going to be... Uh, I might place like the new Tangled Web team onto defense. I'm not sure. I'll see. All right, now room number four, this one here, global heroes at the end of turn will gain offense up. This is an insanely fast team. This is an insanely fast team. I also want to see as to how exactly that offense up goes with um, Sunfire here. The other thing is that my team, my uh, my unlimited X-Men are so strong that I just don't think that they need a super big bonus or anything like that. Um, so offense up on at the end of turn is pretty decent here. Um, apologies about my dog in the background. She's a... Uh, a little bit whiny at the moment. Uh, so hopefully these guys go well here. I'm not sure entirely how they're going to cope, uh, but they're, they're so strong that they kind of end up kind of shitting over everything anyway. So offense up at the end of turn is going to be crazy for them. Like an offense up um, gambit attacking with his cards is just, yeah, it, it's going to be insane. All right, next up, we've got this one here, the Cosmic Catastrophe currently, but being replaced by uh, the on-turn bio character who's going to offense down to a random enemy without offense down. So we're going to be re reducing the amount of damage that the enemy is going to be dealing here. And then we're also going to be being able to heal up via here. We're going to be able to deal a whole lot of damage. It's basically just going to be a crazy, crazy team here, um, except for this tiny Hulk. Look Look at how freaking tiny Hulk is. <laughs> <laughs> like this is just comedy. Anyway, um, I'm I'm hoping that these guys go really well. They're insane on war defense. Uh, without that, sorry, my dog's like nipping at my fingers. Um, so this hopefully will go really really well. Um, we'll. We'll see exactly how it goes. But the fact that they're fast, they're going to be able to chuck out a whole lot of offense downs. They're going to be able to heal up. They're going to be able to res when they die. Um, it's going to be crazy. I want to chuck in Red Hulk in here just to make it in even stronger. All right, and then the last room. This is probably the one that um, is a little bit up in the air, but I'm I'm excited to see how this team goes. So this is my uh, they basically legendary soup. This is back going back to the legendary soup here. We've got um, like we've got Bishop in here, who's the only non-legendary. This room, if you don't remember, is legendary characters gain an extra fifty percent damage on spawn. They're going to gain three turns of defense up, place plus safeguard. On turn, they're also going to remove all negative effects from the and gain speed up. So, 
You'll see free Phoenix in here. Now, I'm hoping that Phoenix works the way that I think she will, in which case it's going to be crazy because she's going to then be able to... She's going to be able to do crazy stuff um, by gaining, like, speed up on spawn when Dark Phoenix comes out. And also gain the defense up and the safeguard on spawn when Dark Phoenix comes out. The extra 50% damage. Because technically, Dark Phoenix, I believe, has the legendary tag, which is going to be... I'm just going to double check that just to make sure that I'm accurate. Um, which means that she's then going to be just dealing... Yes, she's got the legendary tag. So this is going to be crazy. This is going to be very, very crazy. I'm very excited to see exactly how these guys go. Um, in regards to like other legendaries, I was potentially looking at replacing Invisible Woman with Magic. So that way I've got the extra spawn there for... Um, or black, replace Black Bolt with Magic. I'm not sure. One of those two with Magic, but maybe. Uh, we've got a couple other legendaries that we can obviously chuck in here. We've got Ebony Moore and stuff. Um, um, the idea is to hopefully have, um, hopefully use like unlimited or something, uh, not unlimited, uh, infinity watch on offense in this room or something. I'm not entirely sure. We've got a few different options here for offense, um, like that are going to be, be able to deal decent damage there. You've got Star Lord here as well. Mags, Fury. I just wanted to have like hero mutants to start with. So these three were like the core and then these two, you can kind of mix around with whoever you like. Um, but that's it for today guys i'd love to hear from you guys what you think as i said this is up on my discord within the resources area uh so that way it can hopefully help you guys plan let me know what characters you plan on using in the different rooms hope you guys had a great day and goodbye